special for us this year. You mentioned last week, a couple of weeks ago, feeling a little bit rusty just because you, you hadn't played the volume you were used to in a couple of years. Where do you feel on that scale now? Do you feel like it's you're, you're all the way back or are you still shaking up? Well, I think it's, it's kind of coming game in and game out, right? I think um, as scenarios come up in games, um, just getting comfortable in those again. Um, so I, I do feel good. I feel comfortable. I feel um, like I'm playing uh, within our system. And, you know, no matter what, um, I'm going to do whatever I can to help this team win. You talk about the system. Arthur says you've changed. He feels like the game plans have been pretty separate all four weeks. They've been pretty diverse without divulging scheme, obviously. How, how big a challenge is it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday in terms of this, this is, oh, oh, crap, this is all brand new or this is basically the same, we're just going to tweak here, here, and here? Well, our staff does a great job throughout OTAs, throughout camp, of introducing to the entire offense just concepts. Um, that way, like when you're out there in the off season, you're, you're going through it, it's kind of constant, it's always in your mind. Um, so that when we come into the season, it's kind of like a bank they can pull from. Um, and guys aren't like, well, what, what is that? Why is it, is it brand new? Guys are familiar with it. They've run the play, they kind of know it. So um, I think that has helped us because it's not like you're learning a new offense every week. I think our guys feel comfortable with what we're doing. And it's a credit to the staff. How, um, how difficult is it to keep track of things when you escape? The pocket, you're running, and then you you know you go you stop and make a throw like the Hesse throw, then the back across to Alama Day. How do you keep track of the fact that hey, I'm not across the line? <laughs> it, you know what? I, I honestly I don't even think about it. Um, I've been caught before in my career of being mm -hmm. past the line of scrimmage, mm -hmm. um, but I, I really think it's just kind of a feel thing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can't peek and then try to find where the guy's at. I think you just gotta have a feel for it. With the young backs, you're going to have young backs in there regardless of who goes. Does that put more on your shoulders? Do you feel more responsibility to help make sure they understand what they're doing, or are they all ready? These guys are great. Yeah, They're great. Um, you know, it doesn't matter who stepped up or who's been in the game. These guys know what to do, um, and they've executed well. So for me, it's kind of just as, as usual. When the team runs for 200 yards like they did in the last game, do you feel like it's an opportunity for you uh, because, you know, the, you know, the opposing defense is going to be prepared for that run game? Yeah, and I think for us as an offense, it creates versatility. Um, it allows us to do a lot of different things, create a lot of different looks. Um, so no matter what, I think what's going to set us apart is week in, week out, we're going to attack teams differently. Um, you know, if it's... Like last week where we're running for 200 yards, maybe it's another week where we're throwing it for 200. It just kind of depends on uh, what they're giving to us and uh, where we can execute and score points. Arthur was talking about the, the, the different launch points that, that you guys are using in this offensive scheme. Um, again, without giving away the scheme, like how, how, is, that, is that fun for you? Does that feel like you fit that, that fits your um, kind of style of play? Absolutely, absolutely. And it, it allows me to kind of get into the field of the game. I think sometimes, especially for me as a quarterback, you know, when you're dropping back and you're constantly going to the same spot, um, you kind of get numb a little bit. So for me to kind of get around and move around, um, it kind of makes like I, it makes me feel like I'm in the game. I can run run around and use my legs. Have you all discussed any uh, how you handle the ball handling issues that have cropped up? Yeah, that's day in and day out. Um, you know, every single day of practice, we start with a C and Q exchange. Um, so it, it's something that we're continuing to work on and we'll clean up. You were talking about some of the younger guys, specifically Tyler Alger, who's gotten some really meaningful playing time, especially recently last week. What have you seen from him that you like? Well, he runs, he runs, it, runs hard. And, um, again, I, I think a credit to this entire young class that has come in, they're, they're smart as well. Um, I'm not back there telling them what to do. He, he knows what he's going on. And I think it has allowed him to play fast and execute well. So. Uh, credit goes to him for knowing the system and also just running hard. You talk about the versatility of this offense. Do you feel like this is maybe one of the more versatile offenses you've been a part of so far? I would say so. I think just the way that how we can attack defense is very, you know, it's, it varies week in and week out, um, which is a lot of fun for me to play in um, because I think when teams start to cue in on what you do, uh, it makes it tough. It makes it tough to throw the ball. It makes it tough to run the ball. So uh, the matter of the fact is I think our coaching staff does a great job of uh, exposing a bunch of different looks and allowing us to really just play and feel free. What do you see from Tampa Bay's defensive front uh, thus far? You know? Tough, man, tough. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of credit goes to them. I mean, it's been a top rush defense uh, for three years now. Mm -hmm. um, and it's it's really, I mean, it starts up, up front with Vita. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he's a force, man. I, I played him when he was in college, you know, so <laughs> I got to 
I got him when he was a freshman, so I was a little lucky. But, uh, you know, I, again, you know, that, that entire line, that entire group, um, they fly around. Um, they're stingy, and, you know, it's going to be a good challenge for us on Sunday. And the back end is, I guess, anchored by Winfield, but they got some other. Uh, yeah, they start well, it's Carlton safety, and Dean, yeah. you know, they, they do a great job, you know. And, um, you know, even with Logan, who I, I played with before, yeah. they do an unbelievable job of disguising and doing some different things. So, um, you know, it poses some, some problems for us. Um, you know, it's going to be one of those things that we have to be able to communicate, come on uh, off the <coughs> sideline, making sure everyone's on the same page because um, they do – uh, create some some problems with us. We're talking about Tampa's run defense being one of the top in the league uh, the last couple of years. Do you feel like this is really going to be the test for you guys to see where your run game is at? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I think as, as we continue through the season, um, with how our guys are playing, you know, teams are going to be geared up to do that. Um, so uh, we understand that. I think at the end of the day, it's always going to be about us. Um, if we're on our P's and Q's and we're executing and everybody's on the same page. Um, I think we can do uh, really what we want to do on offense.